Good morning, it's Cara and today is the first day of the april a -thon, being the 2nd of April, and the magical read -a -thon. I'm whispering because it's kind of early in the morning, so hopefully you can hear me. I just woke up. I'm not feeling great. I'm coming off the back end with like the middle end of a cold. Um, but it's not the worst I've ever felt, so I will be reading lots today, hopefully, and vlogging some of it. Um, so, there's obviously two readathons in one this week, but I am, I am kind of like doubling up on challenges, so the things I read for the Aprilathon do apply for the Magical Readathon. Um, if you want to know what I'm planning on reading for both of them this month, please check out my TBR, which by the time this goes up will have been filmed and uploaded. I'm sure though, maybe a little bit late because of the beef. Um, but anyway, what I'm currently reading, which I didn't read any of yesterday, which I'm blaming on being sick, is One Dark Throne by Kendra Blake. Um, and I am about 160 pages in. So I'm hoping to finish this today or very early tomorrow. Um, and then get started on the next thing, um, which I believe is A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. So, yeah. for a new uh, TV cabinet that the cat can't get into because she tries to knock over all our consoles all the time. So we were looking for a new TV cabinet. We think we found one. We're not sure yet. I was also looking for a new bed because obviously I'm currently on a mattress on the floor and I want a bed bed. But we were looking at options for that. Um, and that was about it. We did go get ice coffees which was delicious and now we're back and we're going to be playing board games and reading i have read like 100 pages of one dark throne hope to read like 150 more today so i'll keep you updated yay <laughs>
10 30 I think I now have a cut on my nose where I dropped the lid of the rabbit hutch on myself and skinned my the bridge of my nose which is great fun hopefully this can come off tomorrow before I have to film I have another cold sore coming up but you know such is life when you're ill and I am almost um I'm 315 pages into One Dark Throne. I'm going to read for a little bit longer tonight, probably for another half hour, and then I'm going to go to bed because I have to get up decently early in the morning. Even though I don't have work, I'm going to have got to film some videos and I'm going to get lots read. And I am feeling a lot better this evening than I have previously with this flu cold thing. I think it's just cold. Um, so, yes, I have plans for tomorrow. Hopefully this looks much better tomorrow. It's like a whole flap of skin and everything. It's real nasty. But you know, <laughs> it's, I, I believe it stopped bleeding, so that's a good start. Um, the kitten's going a little nuts over there. But anyway, that's this is the end of day one of the Aprilathon and the Magical Owls Readathon. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, so it's Tuesday morning. This is what I did to myself. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It's awful. Um, I'm feeling decently better this morning. I still look atrocious though. But I have to film a lot. Maybe like lots of videos. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and then just like edit straight away because I have to get my wrap up and TBR uploaded. It's already late, I'm sure. Um, so I'm going to do that like first thing this morning and then film a bunch more videos to pre-film because I do that because today is a rare day off for me. So we're going to get on that pre-filming. Um, and then I have a lot of housework to do but I also want to go to the bookstore. And if I have any kind of luck and the post is running on time, uh, well, it's already delayed, but hopefully my package is here today. And so I can uh, unbox things for you on camera and show you what I get from the bookstore, which is going to be heaps of things because I'm basically doing all my shopping for books except for new releases in like one day. They do have a sale on it, Max, though, and uh, it gives me bonus points. If I spend a lot of money, well, not a lot of money. So I'm gonna be shopping. So yes, I haven't read anything yet this morning, but it is only like almost eight o'clock. So I'm gonna run through the shower, get dressed, film some videos, and then edit, and then start reading. Yeah. Though probably actually to me. Hi, so I just filmed one video. I'm about to edit it. Uh, this is my March wrap up and April TBR, which is a little late. Um, hopefully, it technically comes up on Monday in the US anyway. Um, but I don't know, it could be coming up at a weird freaking time for everyone, but that's fine. It's the best we can do. And um, then I'm going to do some chores. I got the kitten being silly beside me. She's being silly, trying to eat me. Yes. Um, and then I'm probably going to go to the bookstore and do some chores. No, not the cords, kitty. No, no, no. Sorry. Um, do some chores and go to the bookstore and the supermarket, and then come back and film some more videos. So, yes, busy day. And I gotta get reading it. Oh my god. I just went to the bookstore, just finished the bookstore. I got six things, which I'll show you when we get home. Oh my god, my nose looks awful. Um, but it was super busy. It was at school holiday, so I couldn't vlog while I was buying. Well, I was hesitant to do that anyway. But I have six things. <laughs> Which have been sitting on my like to buy list for a little while. So I'm excited to have them. And I will show you when I get home. I also went to the butcher and got chicken for dinner. And I've got to go to the bank on the way home. But otherwise, 
I bought books, and I'm hopeful my package may arrive this afternoon, which has another four books in it, but I bought them like last month. They're last month's books. They're just late on the arrival, is how I justify this to myself. <laughs> so I am back from shopping, and let's do a little mini book haul. I may have two of these today if the package arrives today. Kitty is just here. <laughs> Give me love. And angry affection. <laughs> okay, so I bought six things. First off, they're literally coming straight out of the bag. I picked up two Like the Lightning by Ada Palmer, which is book one in the Terra Ignota series. Um, I don't know anyone who's read this yet, but I saw Sam for Thoughts on Times haul it and talk about it, and I looked at the reviews on Goodreads, and I was like, yes, sign me up also. It's pretty floppy, which I'm very, very happy about. This is a little bit of a hefty book. It is like 450 pages-ish in a trade paper format with decently small writing, but like it has tables and shit in it and oh, it looks so good. I don't even, I don't even know much about this. I believe it's like a uh, really future sci-fi and it's a series, there's currently three books out, and it is, I've heard it's like the author's own sandbox, she's made this one to do whatever the heck she wants, and I'm so excited. The next thing I am pulling out of my bag of goodies is Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. This is book one in a series, I believe. And it says, it's a, it's a fantasy series, I'm leaning you on my knee, and uh, it is like assassins that are nuns, and this reminds me so much. The plot, the summary reminds me a lot of uh, Nevernight and God's Grave, and I'm sure it's not going to be as witty and funny as Nevernight and God's Grave, but I love assassins and I love this like convent school for assassins, and I'm yes, I'm keen. And the second one comes out soon, so I thought I'd try this. I've heard mixed things. I've heard some people say. That Mark Lawrence is just really difficult to read. But then I've heard other people say it's like the best thing ever. So I'm going to give it a try. So that's Red Sister. Then I got The Last Namsara by Kirsten, Kristen Citrelli. Cicerelli? Cicerelli? Um, and this is a young adult fantasy about dragons. I think she's a dragon slayer. Yes, she's a dragon slayer. This, I, I picked the floppiest copy there. There were two different types that had slightly different spines and one was floppy and one wasn't and I picked the floppy one, of course. Um, this is a, yeah, young adult fantasy. That's about all I know other than dragon slayers but I've had a lot of people talk about it. It looks gorgeous and I've been eyeing it off all the time but I'd never bought it and I just decided I'm going to do it and I'm going to buy it. Then we have The Bone Witch by Rin Chupico, and I know, like, basically nothing about this. I believe it's a little bit, um, like, Islander, I believe, like, Pacific Islander, though I don't know for sure. And, oh, someone said Memoirs of a Geisha, so maybe it's Asian-inspired. Um, and there's two of these so far out, the second one just came out, but really, let's be real, this is a cover buy, because how freaking gorgeous is this cover, and it sounds really dark and mysterious and good, I've heard mixed things, but I want to see what I think of this, because this cover is stunning, like, even just putting it on my shelf, I'm going to be so happy. Then I picked up The Wicked Deep by Shea Earnshaw, she, Earnshaw, Shea, I think it'll be Shea, um, this is a a uh, fantasy, magical realism, witchy story about this uh, town that they drowned three witches years and years ago for witchcraft, um, witches, uh, and they are come, they've come back every year to possess women of the town and drown men, like, in return. And it's short. It's only like 300 pages, which I was not expecting. Um, but the American cover is gorgeous. And this cover is also gorgeous. And I was just like, heck yeah, I'm going to pick that up. It sounds fabulous. I heard Reagan talking about it. She read it last month and she said it was beautiful. So I'm totally keen. And then the reason this whole book all exists is because of this book, 
This is The Price Guide to the Occult by Leslie Walton. This is her newest release. She wrote The Strange and Beautiful Stories of Ava Lavender, which I love. Um, Magic and Murder in the lush, moody Pacific Northwest is the description of this book. It's hardback, no jacket, and it has these red sprayed edges. And, oh, it looks so cool. I was originally on the fence because the the plot line didn't like, the synopsis didn't drag me in straight away. But I've heard a lot of people talking about it and a lot of people being like, it looks so good. And I mean, I love The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. So I was like, well, I better. This is probably going to be amazing. So I did it. I'm picking this up. This is also obviously part of the things I need to read this week because this is part of the Aprilathon, my Aprilathon TBR. So I'm going to be reading this probably next, though maybe the third this week. I don't know. Okay, so I just finished One Dark Throne by Kendo Blake. It's like almost one o'clock in the afternoon. I obviously still have a bunch more chores to do and some more videos to film, but I have finished my first book of the month and also read a -thon. I'm very, very excited. Uh, this is a great book. I'm going to give it like 4.75 stars for Goodreads. I'm just going to give it a five. Um... I'm so keen now to read the third book that comes out later in the year and the bind-up of the novellas comes out next month. I'm so keen. Oh, I love this world. It's so interesting. Okay, I'm going to go do chores and then I'm going to start Press Guide to the Occult, I think. So, yay! Okay, so I've just done a bunch of chores, um, done lots of washing and things. I still have to put some bins out, um, which includes cleaning up the buns area because that's all got to go in the green waste and do some watering in the yard. But right now I'm going to film some videos, uh, pre-film a bunch. I filmed today's earlier and got that up straight away because it was already late. Um, but now I have time to pre-film the rest. It is currently like 3.30 p.m. Yeah, 3.25, 3.30. The kitten is already playing with the tripod. She thought it was great. <laughs> and so she may end up getting kicked out of the room. Um, and then once I've finished filming these, I won't edit today. I can edit at work tomorrow. Um, I get a bit of free time in the morning to edit. Um, and plus, I don't want to start any big projects because I only have two days of work before I leave again. But then once I've done all that and done the rest of my chores... I'll, I'm going to be starting the prize guide to the occult, which I'm so excited for. Kitty, no. Well, that's a better toy. Yeah, play with that. Uh, yeah, so I'll be starting this then after that. I'm really excited to start it because this looks so good. Ugh, I feel pooped, but I've finished filming for the day and for like the next week and a half. So... Now I'm going to sit down with some gyps because I'm hungry and pooped and I'm going to do some reading. I still have to put the bins out, which means cleaning the bun area. Um, but that's, oh, and do some, a bit of watering in the garden, but those are the last of my jobs. I can technically do them when Jesse gets home. He can help me with the bins. So I'm getting some glare. Let me move. So I'm going to read for a little bit first because I need to just sit for a bit after standing to film all those videos. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to sit and read because I need to get some more reading done today, don't I? Because mm -hmm. this is a readathon, not just a vlog. It's a readathon. So my package arrived of the books I was waiting for. No wonder they took forever. They ended up coming through a courier company. I don't know, but they're here and yay! They did all come, I believe, in one big package, but let's unbox them. So this is the box. Obviously we've got a lot of wrapping goodness. And then we have Wind Witch by Susan Dennard. This is the hardback. Oh, it looks beautiful. What is it like naked? Oh, it's just red. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. So we have Wind Witch. Yes, and then we also have Sight Witch, which is the, the novella. It's short. What's it look like naked? Ooh. Ooh. Exciting. 
so that's that. Oh, they're nice and big. I like that. I think they'll match. I think I'm take the moment it's to Truth Witch. Oh, they're even a little taller than Truth Witch. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. And then what we have the Falconer by Elizabeth May, which is quite floppy. I'm very impressed. Uh, it is gorgeous. I love this cover. Like, this cover is stunning. Like, beautiful. It's a weird size, but it's beautiful. And then finally we have Gathering Darkness by Morgan Rhodes. This is book three in the Falling Kingdoms. I have one and two at my mum's house. It's just a nice, solid black underside. Um, and I have been meaning to buy book three for a long time. So I did. And we have Gathering Darkness. Yeah. I like the bronze. That's pretty. Hi, it's ridiculously bright. It's 7.55 on the morning of day three of the April of that and also the magical readathon. Um, I have just finished my work, my overnight work, and now I'm on my way to the other work, the day work. Uh, which means I can listen to something on my commute. My current audiobook is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. I'm not a fan of the narrator at all. I don't like her. I don't know why. Well, I do know why, but I don't. Like, her voice just irritates me. But I am determined to finish this reread on audiobook, and I am, like, more than halfway through, so we can listen to that on the way. Yay! Last night, I did get halfway through Price Guide to the Occult, or almost, which is 130 pages, and I'm really happy about that. Hopefully, I can finish it tonight, and then I've read two books so far this week in this readathon, and I'm very proud of myself. the bookstore now that I've finished work and I'm listening to my audiobook <laughs> so I just went to the bookstore again I went to a different bookstore Geelong has three demics in different parts of town um and one of the books I'd been meaning to get yesterday when I went to demics they didn't have it the one I'd been to but I knew they had the one in town so so after finishing work I went down to that demics the Demix in the City, and I was meaning to just buy that one book that I didn't get yesterday. Of course I didn't have it, I ended up buying an extra one. But you know, I'll show you when I get home. Uh, as well as the falls, but also Glory Jean's Mudslide Mucker. So, as I said, I just got home, and I bought two books. From the bookstore. First off, the book I was meaning to buy. Whoops. Uh, and that is The Astonishing Colour of After by Emily XR Pan. This is a contemporary with a hint of magical realism. Following um, a girl whose mother, her name's Lee, her mother dies by suicide. Uh, and she's reconnecting with her grandparents in Taiwan and believing she's seeing her mother as a mysterious red bird. I've heard it's amazing. Like, literally everyone I've heard talk about this gave it five stars. And they're people who like the kind of things I like. And, yes, I am excited for this. This cover is beautiful. And I will be reading this this month, hopefully. Then the second book I picked up has been on my radar for a long time, but I kept umming and ahhing over whether or not I wanted it. And then I saw it today and I was just like, screw it, I'm getting it. And that is In Other Lands by Sarah Reese Brennan. I have not read a Sarah Reese Brennan book. I'm looking up at my shelf. Yes, I, kittenish. I own a Sarah Reese Brennan book. I've read her novellas in the Shadowhunter world, but I don't believe I've actually read a solo Sarah Reese Brennan book. Um, and this just sounds beautiful. It's a mermaid book, but like really sassy and fun. Um, this is a gorgeous hardback, and the line in the synopsis that sold me was the little bit that's a excerpt from the book, and it says, "What's your name?" Serene. 
Serena? Elliot asked. Serene, said Serene. My full name is Serene Hart in the chaos of battle. Elliot's mouth fell open. That is badass. And that sold me. Um, yeah, like, that's liter literally all I know. Obviously, it's a mermaid story. Um, about an other land called the Borderlands. Um, and it's a novel. And there's illustrations. Let me try and, I don't know if they're all the way through it, but I'll try and show you one. Yeah, see? Illustrations. Um, there's at least that one. And I'd imagine they're, like, at all the chapter markers. Yes. They're at all the chapter markers. Oh, man, they look like long chapters. But, oh, well, like, this, this, uh, 435-page book has only, has only five chapters. <laughs> But you don't, they're like big sections, so um, it'll be fine. Um, let's have a look what it looks like naked. I'll just get it out. Oh, it's just a plain blue, but it's a pretty plain blue. There we go, it's a really nice colour. Ah, so I probably won't be reading this this month, but hopefully I'll get around to it soon. It looks awesome. And the fact that I had been eyeing it off for a while kind of tipped me over the edge. Yeah, and I had some money to spend on my rewards card, so, yeah. Okay, I'm going to edit some videos and then cook dinner because I have to have it ready by 6 because Jessie has rehearsal for a show tonight. Hey, kitten, stop chewing my foot. And then, because he'll be at rehearsal, I essentially get all evening to read. Woo! <laughs> and maybe work on my bullet journal. Mm -hmm. Beat off both. We'll see how I go. If I can smash out the rest of Price Guide to the Occult tonight, I might work on my bullet journal. Well, let's see how we go. I'm currently making dinner. We have potatoes for some mash, gum full belt there. We have meatloaf cooking away in the oven. We have the pan ready for it to go into its final fluke with the sauce. And I have some sugar snap peas ready to go on top of those potatoes in a minute when the meatloaf is like closer to being done. Kim, how are you? Kitten. Kitten, how are you? Have you had your dinner? Yes, yes I have. I have been provided with my dinner. I have eaten some of it, but I am little so I have left some for later. Yes. Yes. So I just rocked up in my hoodie and went to the library because I had to drop off some things that were due um, that I read last month and I had a few things there ready for me to pick up. So I got Giant Days Volume 3 which means I now have 3, 4 and 5 sitting here waiting to read but I'm waiting on 2 to arrive. Duh. So I may or may not get to these this month because I know this month's already really busy but if not I'll just renew them and read them next month. That's fine. Um, they're not part of my TBR specifically. And then I got The Complete Persepolis by Marjane Strapani, which Satrapi, sorry, which is part of my readathon TBR for the Owl's Magical Readathon. So I'm going to be reading this soon. <laughs> Soon ish. It's kind of chunky, but obviously it's a graphic novel, so it'll go by really quickly, I'm presuming. Um, I'm excited to read it. It probably won't be till maybe next week. I'm hoping maybe next week. I think it will be a good book to read next week. Um, but yes. So that's what I just did, and I'm about to pull up my book and start reading. Hopefully I can get a whole bunch read, and then I can do a little bit of... Uh, work on my um, bullet journal, and then go to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm hopeful to finish Price Guide to the Occult tonight. That is my ultimate goal. Comfy and 
in PJs and I've showered, so I have a bit of wet hair ends. And I just finished Price Guide to the Occult. It was really good. And my top lip is dry and eh. Um, it was a solid five star read. I loved it. It was so atmospheric and gorgeous and good. And so my next read is going to be A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libra Bray, which I have pulled out. But for now, I'm going to do some work in my bullet journal so that I have it ready to go for a flip through end of next week, which I'm going to film. So it's going to take some work. So good bit on, good get on that. Hey, so it is Thursday. I once again left work early because I was done for the day. I had nothing else to do. Hi, kitten. And so I had some lunch. And I've uh, got some stuff I should be doing for preparing for the weekend. So I have a work-related trip this weekend. And I'm doing a course. So I am flying out tomorrow, Friday. I'm coming back Monday. Jessie's coming with me. And we're going to be doing things. So I have like course full day, Saturday, Sunday. Um, and then we're doing some touristy stuff in between. And so i got to prepare for that, which means getting some videos edited that need to go up while I'm gone. And I also want to get a really good job done on my bullet journal because that's the video. If I don't film it now, I'm going to be filming it mid next week. And I'm a little, I need to be... It's going to be a time-consuming one, so I, I'd rather be prepared than not. Um, so I think now I'm going to probably... Uh, I don't know what I want to do, whether I want to edit or work on the bullet journal. I might plan, do the last bit of planning on the bullet journal, then edit the video, then do some filming for the bullet journal setup. So, yes, that will be this afternoon. <laughs> and then cooking and housing and all the kinds of normal things. So that's my plan for now. You will see some of that probably as I go. And then I'm reading, currently reading A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libra Bray. I read the first chapter last night and I'm hopeful to read a good like 100, 150 pages of that today as well. So that's my plan. Oh, I have been Reading lots of uh, Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare on audio. I read that while I was doing some things at work this morning. Because they were pretty mind numbing clicky things. And then... And because it was a reread, I didn't have to pay that much attention to the book. And then I will read some of that as well while I'm doing this stuff on my bullet journal. Okay, so I just filmed almost an hour of setting up my bullet journal and I'm giving up for the night. I got through the title page. Oh, I should show you because this will be like a little sneak preview while the kitten's busily eating her dinner. I did... Uh, I set up the title page yes with these die cuts and my lettering and then I've almost finished the new releases for the year page um I still have to do, finish uh inking out October November December but then this page is done done um yes I have this really cool duct tape that I want to use at some point but I don't know when We'll find a spot for it in it, maybe. <laughs> and then we can keep going from there. I've ink I've penciled out everything through till the end of March. So it's ready to be inked. And it's just gonna take time apparently because I did 50, 50 minutes of this and only got through a page in a bit. And they weren't even complicated pages in a bit. <sighs> And now I am going to go do some dishes, because uh, that needs doing. I think we might be having pizza for dinner. That's all like a buy thing, not a make thing, so that's easy. Um, and then I'll be reading tonight. Hopefully I'll read quite a bit. I haven't read anything yet today, except I have, which is what I was going to say, forgot about. I have finished the audiobook 
Amy Pond, for uh, Clockwork Angel. I hated Jennifer Ely, the narrator. I mean, I don't hate her as a person. I just hated her narration. Clockwork Angel there. I hated her narration. I found her voice incredibly irritating. Um, her tone was just awful. And then the voices she did for the characters pull me right out of the story. Like, there's one point where Tessa, uh, spoilers, if you, if you haven't read Clockwork Angel, spoilers right now, so we'll avoid um, until the next clip, where they're in De Quincey's party and Tessa is um, in Camille's body and she calls out for Will and the... <sighs> The way the narrator did the voice of like, Will, was so awful. Awful. And that was just like an example of how terrifyingly awful it was. I hated it from the moment I turned it on and heard her voice. I was like, I'm sorry, but no. But I was persistent because I want to do this reread. I want to make it my mission to reread books in audio because I want to read more audio books, but I... And they want to do rereads, and so I'm doing because I like physical format books. So I'm doing a reread of the entire Mortal Instruments, which means I have to do oh, and like the entire Shadowhunters world, which means I have to read Clockwork Angel, and it's the only one narrated by her. I just had to suffer through that one, that one, that was it. So I did it. I sucked up, and it's done. I did it. I finished it while I was doing that last. Uh, while I was working on the bullet journal, I finished it. And I've now started City of Fallen Angels because I'm doing publishing order, which is how I read them originally. So I'm now listening to City of Fallen Angels, which is Ed Westwick and Molly C. Quinn. And that's way better. I love Molly Quinn in uh, Castle. So I'm definitely way more happier about them. Ed Westwick has a gorgeous narration. And I haven't got to Molly's bit yet, but I'm going to put it on while I do these dishes. And I expect she will be much better than Jennifer Ely. I apologise to Jennifer Ely. You're probably a lovely lady, but I can't stand your narration of Clockwork Angel. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Okay, so it's Thursday night. I'm about to fall asleep. Like, I'm trying to keep reading and my eyes keep shutting and I have to read the same paragraph five times. So I'm giving up, but I did read... 60 pages of A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. I was wanting to read more, but we ended up watching old school horrible histories and old school YouTube videos, and I just got majorly distracted. So that didn't happen. But tomorrow morning, I'll have to just pack for the trip and make sure the house is all ready to go for when we leave. And my flight's not till the late evening, like early evening, like just before dinner. My slides are like five something, so I'll have time in the morning to read, probably. So, yes, and definitely on the flight to read, so hopefully, I can read a lot like pretty much because I don't know anyone so I'll be bored but yay we ate dinner we didn't get lotto tickets for Book of Mormon and now we're catching a ferry to a place I've walked around the city all day I didn't I was bored all day he walked around the city uh, all day there on the ferry <laughs> <laughs> We're on the ferry. This is so cool. <laughs> this is such a novelty. I mean, I've caught ferries before, but this no, is but still like, very exciting. The fact that we can just touch on with a card. Yeah, that's pretty it's novel. It's a bit of a novelty. Oh. Okay. We're going on an adventure. 
I didn't even take a photo of the food because I was stupid, yeah. but it was sashimi and it was delicious. And oh, we didn't, didn't get even to take photo of food. No, but I'm sure you can find some online. <laughs> and we didn't get to get to the Book of Mormon, but hopefully we will tomorrow because we're gonna get some tomorrow. Like that's just how it works. And then that's it. That, that, that's it. Yes. Sunday. We just got back to the hotel. It's the end of the night. I probably won't read that much more, if anything. That is the end of the Aprilathon and the end of week one of the Owl's Magical Readathon. Um, so I definitely finished two books. Um, what was the first one? <laughs> one Dark Throne and Price Go to the Occult. And currently I'm halfway through. Um, the um, Great and Terrible Beauty. Great and Terrible Beauty? Yes. Um, and I may get a little bit more tonight, but I may also just sit and sleep. So, you know, I'll see you next week. Bye.